Hi, everybody. Well, listen, it's a conversation that many of us feel uncomfortable talking about. Death. Pre-planning your own funeral may seem grim, but it can be much easier for friends and family if they know your wishes. Well, the folks from Howard K. Hill have a different attitude about how you can plan a funeral, and they say you can actually celebrate the life of your loved one who's left by giving them a funeral that celebra celebrates the life they lived. And here to tell us more is Howard K. Hill and Reverend Orsella Cooper. Thank you both so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, planning a funeral can be tough. I mean, there's so many things that go, you know, that, that have to be thought of. And at your place, Howard K. Hill, you offer a variety of services. What are some of the things that you offer? Well, we offer, uh, obviously, funeral services with uh, the limousines and the burial and cremation and things of that nature. But we also offer catering, flowers, funeral programs. We have clergy service. We have organists. Yes, because we have a reverend in the house, just in case you need to know. Okay? <laughs> I can attest to that. Um, but you're a full service spot. I mean, you do offer the gamut. I mean, you, and you're imaginative with things. I mean, you're saying, listen, it doesn't have to be a situation that's ordinary. You all say, if you are a basketball coach, we can we can kind of add that to your funeral. If you, if your loved one was a golfer, talk with us, Reverend Orsella, a little bit about some of that stuff. Right. We completely believe in bringing out the lifestyle of an individual into their service so that it's a celebration so um, just like when we had a restaurant owner we completely turned the sanctuary into her restaurant so when people came in they completely felt like they were there to celebrate the life that she led and that's what it's about and even for a coach I thought this was so cool you said that there was a coach and basically you took a basketball and had all the kids that he coached sign this ball and then kind of set it up for us because that is awesome right Right. So it was just a basketball that everybody signed, and then you put that in, in, the, uh, in the, the church as well with everything else. Right. They, it, it happened to be a memorial service, and it was encased in the plastic, and, and uh, we presented it to the family. And it really, really, really touched the, the, the spouse uh, because he, the, this gentleman loved his, uh, his basketball players. Mm -hmm. And it was a great way to memorialize him. And you know, for people who are saying, listen, I've got a loved one in California, I've got a loved one in New York, I've got somebody that's, you know, overseas, these folks here at Howard K. Hill are very different. I mean, you are streaming live, is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. So you can see it any place. That's correct. And you and I were talking earlier and saying that, you know, listen, if it's something that you have to set up and you're coming in from out of town and someone you loved has passed away, we can take care of everything online for you. That's correct. That's so when you say that, what are you talking about? You're talking about the catering, like you said earlier. We're talking about setting up what else? The travel the accommodations, travel. lodging right. accommodations. Um, we also can set up the courier service if your family's coming in from out of town and you don't have time to go pick up everyone from the train station, the airport. We'll make that arrangement for you as well. Right. So you take all of our cares away so we can right. actually be in the right. moment. What are some of the things that you come across when someone comes in? What are some of those feelings that people have that you notice is common? Is it just like the fear of the planning? Is that one of the bigger things you're noticing with people that come in? Right. right. You, Okay, well, you know, naturally people don't want to face their own mortality. Mm -hmm. um, so we try to alleviate a lot of that burden by making you feel right at home. So hospitality is key when you walk into our funeral service. We make you feel right at home. We make you feel comfortable. We don't make you feel like you're making a funeral arrangement, but you're actually starting the celebration of your loved one's life, why they were here. And Howard, you know, you and I were talking earlier about some of the tips you offer. You have a checklist that's actually on your website. Right. And, and if we go to that website and we check on that checklist, there's just a variety of things that we need, need to think about. They can kind of get us on the right track. Is that that's, correct? That's correct. The main thing that, that, you, that the checklist uh, has is a lot of vital statistical information. Uh, this information is needed in order to fill out the uh, the uh, documentation in order to get the proper permits for services. So it, it, it puts you it puts people in the right direction uh, uh, because they need direction because mm -hmm. their thought process is is completely off. Uh, but once they come in and we're able to give them some comfort and promote some calm with them, uh, uh, they can uh, peruse our services and uh, the, the pressures are relieved and they feel so much better. I can't, I can't, I really can't explain it. Uh, uh, testimonials uh, are the best way to explain it. I can us. imagine. And you know, I think what a lot, a lot 
we again fear is so paralyzing I think for everybody and I think that's one of the biggest things we've got to get over is that fear but to know that you can tie all of that in as far as like your theme and what means so much to you is so amazing because you want to you want to be able like you say mm -hmm. celebrate life Absolutely. and that's what it's truly about are there any other things that we should know when we come to you or we're looking for a spot like yours what are some of the key things we need to keep in mind Howard well, again, we want to talk. We, we you want to make sure that the the funeral director the, that you're dealing with is is a pleasant person. You feel comfortable with them. You listen to your intuition. Uh, the the funeral home is clean. Uh, the staff is well groomed. Uh, if your staff, if the staff and the funeral director is well groomed, they're going to take care of your loved one. Mm, so good to you, know. Mm -hmm. And uh, life does not end with us. You say it starts with us. That's correct. Yes. All right. We like that. Definitely. Thank you both so very much. Hey, listen, if you'd like more information on how you can contact Howard K. Hill Funeral Services, the information is right there on your screen. screen. And, of course, you can always come to WTNH.com. We, of course, will provide the link there. Just click on Connecticut Style. Again, the Howard K. Hill Funeral Services. Now, you have a little presentation for us, I hear. Is that correct? Yes, yes Reverend we do. Arcella <laughs> and Howard K. Hill, they got gifts for us. Mm-hmm. I think and Howard knows that we girls like gifts. Is, <laughs> is, Sonia, is Sonia around? She is around. Sonia, where are you? Can you come in here? Really quickly? Run. She's, <laughs> she's going to come in a second. So I'm going to have you present them both, yeah, so. and then okay. I'll give Sonia hers. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, Desiree, on behalf of Howard Kill Funeral would Services, you please stand? we would like to present to you this wonderful. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh, I love those. It is all about us, I love it. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Oh, yeah. oh, and he's draping me with it. Oh my gosh. Reverend Orsella, hold yours up. Give me a hug, sister. That is so sweet. Thank, so thank you so much. Cool. Thank you so much. Oh my that gosh. So nice. Howard said it's all about you girls. I said, what, how did you Jess, know? What are people going to say when we go to the grocery store like this? <laughs> and I'm going to go like this. We'll walk just like this together. How's this? <laughs> Listen, I love it. Hey, listen, don't go away. There's more Connecticut style coming your way right after this. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so Thank you. I gotta give you a hug.